All right, everyone, thank you for joining me for Ash Conversations, episode number six. Ash Conversations is an interview series where we aim to talk to Melee players about their unique backstories. Joining me today, we have Mock Alex 19 from SoCal, started playing in 2006. Known as a Fox main, he got 17th at Genesis, 67th on the Melee Domini Top 100 rankings. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm good, man. Um, <laughs> not, not as good when you... When you... You pronounce my name wrong. Gosh. <laughs> but it's all good. Should know? I just say the whole coffee pasta? Alex19 is so <laughs> great. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Please not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, yeah, what's up, dude? It's good. Little, I'm good. Over here, man. <laughs> you know, the, the chain. It's like me, then you, then Bobak. <laughs> No, it's Bobak, I guess. No, it's just, you know, it's just me and you and Bobak. I'm speaking <laughs> on my own, and I don't, don't, come, come on. I don't want to be you guys. Fuck that. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what do you do on your channel? I'm, Ash, kind of, I'm so interested. What do you, what do you do? Well, right, what, is this the reverse interview? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I actually have no idea what the, what the hell you um, do. <laughs> I work at this pharmaceutical management software company, so they just make an application for all these rich pharmaceutical companies to use. Okay. And I'm a software engineer there. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about your channel. You oh, don't. oh, this? <laughs> I don't know. You asked me about my job the other day. Okay, okay, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, you totally asked me about my job the other that day. That was the other In the day. same exact question format. That was the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so for this is basically, it's like, there are a bunch of new players in the scene. And the only people they really get to know about are, like, Chillin, Ken, and, like, the people in the dock. Okay. And it's all these people who I feel aren't, like, necessarily the people who are the most prominent in the scene right now. And I think that it's really cool that in Smash, how everyone's been playing for 10 years, so people just have a lot to talk about. And that's pretty all much right. the point of this. I guess, I mean, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Um, is everyone tripping out? Um, my mic, I guess... So what's going on with the mic? I don't know. Like it, it literally doesn't like allow me to talk through any other option besides um, the webcam. The webcam. So I mean, like that's we gotta deal with for now. It's like 2006 style. I, 2006. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he said you could hear me. So yeah. Uh, um, I, I guess getting okay. this off. Wait, so you're not going to Evo, right? <clears throat> Can't go to Evo. What's Can't up with that? Can't go to Evo. It's uh, the biggest sale of my job like there's only one thing they want and it's just for you to be able to attend that mm -hmm. sale it's like their anniversary event when the store opened whatever many years ago that's when uh they decided to like keep having a sale every every year every year every year and like it's no request it's like it's like one of my coworkers' birthdays and you can't go and she can't she can't get the day off it's uh, -huh. uh somebody's wedding and they couldn't go so they're like alex you can't go play video i'm like ah <laughs> and they're so lenient with me it's like i can't like just mm -hmm. i can't just like try to diss somebody like you know what fuck you guys no i, I gotta be like kind of nice whatever so i'm like you know what you guys help me a lot i'll be i'm okay with it fine mm -hmm. and where i really it? hate that i haven't been able to go to one like come on i really want to go but i just haven't gone to a single to Nemo? and yeah no, i have i want to did are they always on the same weekend every year? Yes! I know. <laughs> this this one time, long story short, like, we switched dates, and now, it, it, like, there was a little chance of me going because they were going to have a pre-sale, so, like, mm -hmm. the sales weren't going to influence it as much, and they're like, oh, we can maybe do it without you. But then um, the Nordstrom changed the dates by, like, three days, and it now makes all the difference. So it's really <laughs> not. So I can't go to Evo because of that. Uh, I really wish I could go, even just to, like, go for, like, the last day. So, last day Sunday, right? Yeah, the last day Sunday. What time? Do you know what time? Um, like, I think we're from, like, we start at, like, 3 p.m. You start at 3? Sunday. Because it's, like, okay, so final, because it's finals day, right? So, mm -hmm. Evo top eights, all the games. Damn, yeah, what if I were, like, show up for the, I don't know. Party. I don't know, dude, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be crazy, man. There's, That'd be sick. The know. the stadium has twelve thousand seats, and it's sold out. What? Yeah, you can TPP your way in probably though. I, really? You think? I don't know. Find just find someone with like a spare ticket who bought one and isn't going anymore. Just tell Mango put me in as 
trip coach or something. I don't know. <laughs> hey, go, <girl>, please. Uh, <laughs> nah, I doubt it. But we'll see. All right. All right, let's, let's get to this interview, though. All right. Um, so what I like to do is I like to kind of talk about, like, your how, like, people were growing up. So, uh, you know, what was the young baby Alex like going as far back as you really want to go? Little Ashcon 19, dude. <laughs> Little youngster. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, you guys can only imagine, like, you all, like, when you're younger, you have, like, the biggest little melee ranger ever like you want to get good and you're learning about this and that and you want to get better like that was me like i wanted to play melee really bad and i was getting better and i was getting technical and i watched videos and this and that but like i didn't know shit really like you just still don't know anything about the game you just know like you start learning how to do it and you get better at what you're doing but it doesn't necessarily mean you're getting better mm -hmm. at like you know like competitive melee like you might be like a crazy technical person, but um, so then I just I met our I found out I saw a video on YouTube and it was the whole like Zell Goddess video. DVR. That was like that was like standard back in the day. Like you watch one of those DBR videos and you're hooked. Like kind of like the way that everybody's like baby booming out of the documentary and everybody's like a documentary baby. Like, that was the way everybody was getting into Melee before. It was YouTube DBR videos. And, like, it was pretty standard. And I was, you know, like, and they had, like, five of them. Was it five or four? I don't remember. There was a Samus, Bob Money, uh, which is a Doc player. Um, there was the Fox, Zell Goddess. There was Cloud Zero, uh, Cloud Zero, which was a Falcon and then um, DSF and King. DSF was a Sheik, Fox, and then King was, uh, was a Jigglypuff. And like, I really got into the Fox style. I was like, whoa, man, Shine's dope, and this and that. And, like, I started like grinding, and or, I, was, I didn't even know how to do anything they did. I was like, how do you do that? I was like, how do you shine and stop the shine? Because when you shine, like, you have to jump out of it. I was like, okay, but then I didn't know how they were, like, do it in place. I don't know. I guess we're, I was a kid, man. I don't know how to do it. So, like, practice, practice, practice. I started learning how to do it. And then I think I'm good. And I go to MLG Anaheim, and I was like, this is MLG old Anaheim. Like, I didn't know really. I barely knew how to do anything. And I went, and, like, in my pool was um, Lunin, Lunin Spectra way back. <laughs> Yeah, you, do you know who that is? Yeah, yeah. NorCal legend, dude. Yeah, what the hell? That's crazy. He doesn't even play no more. He's like super old school. He he's like coming to he comes to the foundry like every so often. Does he really? Yeah, he shows up. Oh, he shows wow. up like his like his whole family. Oh damn, his whole family. Yeah, like his his sister and brother, they both play. Okay. Well, oh, they his sister plays too. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. It's like, let me bring my family and everybody go play. I don't know. Uh, well, he was really good, really technical fox. He was a blue fox, too. And um, who else did I have? I had somebody else who was pretty damn good in my bracket or, or my pool, I remember. I had a – and then I – oh, I had D.A. Dave, some really, really crazy technical Falco or – was it a Falco? Yeah, I think it was a Falco, dude. And he was, like, in, like, a wheelchair. Like, he was kind of like, he was, like, a paraplegic. But he was super good at the game. Destroyed me. Like, everybody destroyed me. And I was like, wow, this is kind of disappointing. Like, I had no idea. And then, like, later, I still want to get better, you know? Like, I really wanted to get better at Melee. And then, uh, <clears throat> 2000, that was in 2006, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, 2007... Uh, probably like mid to early 2007 is when I met Mango and it was a weird way to meet Mango like uh, there was a friend we had a friend named Piggy and um, he's like my friend my friends will beat you at Melee and I was like like I'm not gonna say no because he knows how I'm good he knows that at least I'm decent and, um, and he so he, he tells me in one name, he's like, one of them's named Mango, and I was like, that kind of sounds familiar, like, because I was looking at a lot, a lot of YouTube videos, it's like, that kind of does sound familiar, 
but I didn't say anything. And then uh, he's like, my other friend's name is Lucky. And then uh, <clears throat> I met up with Lucky because I guess Piggy was closer with Lucky. So we like set up a day and it was really messed up because we're like, it was around the time where Brawl was coming out. They had like a Chinese version of Brawl or a beta or something. And um, I guess Joey had his hands on it. Joey, AKA Lucky. And Joey had his hands on it, and he really only wanted to play that. And, like, to him, in his eyes, like, I'm just some really bad scrub in Melee, and he didn't want to play me. I was like, dude, like, I want to play so bad, and you're over here choosing to play this shit game that I hate. Like, I, I, I had no interest for Brawl. Like, the game hadn't even came out, and I did not want to play I was so invested in the Melee. I was like, forget Brawl. I don't care. It looks slow. And Joey loved it. I don't know. He played Sonic, and he he would go crazy. But uh, long story short, in that in that moment, like um, Joey would like bodied me like once with Fox, and then went Falcon, and then started going Roy. Like he just went down and down, and it wasn't even really like super fun. And I was kind of mad. I was like, man, like I want to keep playing, and then he didn't want to play, and um, and he told me about how Mango like went to John Glenn high school same high school as i did and uh i want i was like so interested in playing him but i was like if mango's better than him and i saw the effort that came out of him like there's no chance mango wants to play me like it was kind of a bummer like i was like damn like there's no chance mango's gonna want to play me so like all right whatever i didn't really bother or say anything and i kind of kept in contact with joey and i wanted to hang out with him and play maybe a little more once in a while but he wasn't and but joey would tell me about tournaments that were coming up he'd be like there's a tournament here if you want to go to that or there's a tournament here so he told me about this one pomona tournament which is really funny because sss is held at pomona once in a while on a rotation but literally my first tournament, like my first real, besides MLG Anna, I don't count that because I didn't know shit. But um, one of my first real tournaments was a Pomona tournament. And I went and Joe was there, a bunch of people were there. And like, I met Oscar, Lovage, uh, Fly Amanita. I met a lot of the, the like the old school players and they were all so nice. Everybody's so sweet. Not really like Joey. Joey's a little asshole now that I think about it at the time and I, I i don't know i guess he had other things he was more focused on but oscar was like yeah let's play and then replicate which is like oscar's training buddy and there i see mango and i was like are you mango and he's like he's like yeah <laughs> i was like okay he's like uh i was like is it true you go to john glenn and he's like he's like yeah it's true and then he's like, you want to play a friendly? I was like, fuck, yeah, I want to play a friendly. Like, let's play. And he sandbagged so hard, but me being so scrubby, I thought he, I thought I was good. I beat him. I beat him one match, I remember. I beat him, and I thought it was really good. I thought it was dope. And then um, didn't play him. And then one day I was at school, and, um, oh, yeah, Mike was there, too. I, I forgot. Mike was actually there, too. Um Mike Hayes, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, was Hugo, no, I don't think Hugo, I think Hugo was like super into brawl at that time, and um, I was at school on campus, and I'm walking down, and then I just hear like, like, hey, uh, hey Alex, and then like, I turn around, and there's this fool, that fool, <laughs> there's that fool, and he was walking, and he's like, he's like, hey, do uh, you want to play sometime, and I was like, I was like, like on my head, I had the, I was like, what? Like, oh yeah, I want to play. And he's like, yeah, yeah, here, here, uh, take my number. And like, we exchanged numbers and, it, and like, it was really weird for me. It was kind of, I guess, like a girl. I was like, what, what do I say? Like, let's fuck? No. <laughs> Just, I was like, what, are, let's play, let's smash. And, uh, and the first few times, like, it was cool. But then like, you got to understand when the skill gap is that big, like, he doesn't want to play like all the time and i was on the other other side of the the you know i was like on the opposite end of the spectrum i was like i want to play every day like I, I, so i had a i got baited dude i got baited with like freaking uh i had to bait him with like freaking jack in the box and shit i was like not bait him but i i, I needed to eat too but uh 
that was like a uh, super nice and then these fuckers got like way too like comfortable and then they wanted me to buy them shit all the time and i was like you know what like i thought we we're friends man come on like you can't just keep taking advantage over and over and like i mean granted who would have who would have dropped i probably dropped like what at most like two hundred dollars in like two years or a year and a half of of like of living for melee playing with mango who would have paid that that's like one straight up practice session with mango nowadays <laughs> like think about it like <laughs> yeah it's like the cheapest training you could get with somebody mango would have and paid, like someone would pay a thousand dollars to train with mango nowadays <laughs> i paid like 250 bucks and but I mean, like we got along for sure. It was sick and everything. That's a good. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> man. It, it, it's a very good rate, actually. But you're also like you're you're a little. Well, it's it's like the over. classic story, though. It is. It's <laughs> like this is literally like back in the day. You know, yeah. it used to cost me a dollar for my whatever it was, my cheeseburger. Now it costs like a thousand. No, it's like. That was the rate before. Like that was good. Mm-hmm. Mango knows I was good. He's a little kid. He could. I mean, <laughs> he still can't drive. <laughs> I was like, he couldn't drive. I picked him up. I had a car. I take him to tournaments. Never charged him gas money. Mm-hmm. Like he had a good thing going for sure. But so did I. And we're homies. We hang out. We have fun. I think. I mean, I think we did. <laughs> it was fun. And uh, <laughs> you know, like before you started playing with like Mango and Joey. Yeah. And like you found those like Zelgadis videos and whatnot, but who were you right. playing with? Were you just like No, I play, my, I play with my brother. My brother liked the game, but he's older. He's four years older than me. Mm-hmm. And um my cousin was the same age as my brother, so like they're getting to that stage where they just didn't want to play anymore. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, like they went to MLG Anaheim too, but instead of getting driven with me uh like driven, like motivated they, they kind of were more, like, discouraged. They are like, I don't give a shit. Like, these are all kids that just obliterated us. Like, we don't want to play no more. Like, I remember my cousin had Silent Spectre in his bracket and just got, like, super four-socked. And then um, my brother had um, German in, in his bracket, which he got obliterated, too. And then my brother also had, like, some girl DK that was, like, super good at the game. And then my cousin had a guy named Kaiser, and I think he still kind of plays now. I'm not too sure. Um, he's a really good fox back in the day. I would put him up, like, better than Lunin um, at the time. Mm-hmm. And he was playing a lot. Um, and he just – we all got, like, demolished. But they kind of, like, got a little bit, like, discouraged, and I just kept going because I was younger. I was like – and now, now I'm just an old fuck that still plays too. <laughs> Kaiser was really good. He was super good fox. I think he was red or, or neutral. Mm-hmm. Really solid fox. I see. <clears throat> and uh, like when you went to the Pomona tournament, how did you yeah. do? Like, cause you beat Mango in the friendly. I imagine you're like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking no. amazing. I'm gonna, I'm no, gonna win. I think, no, no, it's different because like. I okay, so nerves is still a thing, dude. I was so nervous, like I was like, "Oh shit, there's people watching and this and that." Like, but that's like your first sermon. You get super nervous, like way, way nerve, way more nervous. Like now, it's like I get nervous, but it's enough for me to miss an L cancel. Before, I was like, my fucking hands are shaking so much that I can't, I can't even hold my controller. So like, I don't know, like it was worse back then, but um, <clears throat> I think I played. I basically think I went like one and two. I think I played one person and beat him, which was somebody that I really thought I was going to lose to at the time. And I like counterpicked him <laughs> game three to Rainbow Cruise. And <laughs> Rainbow Cruise, man, that's a joke, dude. But I loved it. <laughs> it got me a couple of W's, man. Um, Rainbow Cruise gimmicked them hard, won, went to the next like set and then i think i'm pretty sure i just like double loss mm-hmm. i think i don't remember honestly like it was so long ago this was like this was like 2007 this is actually like this is literally right before i met mango this is when i had barely met joey and i hadn't met mango and 
and um because i probably met joey and then it was maybe like two months before i finally got to meet mango and like hang out and whatever and then and then joey like <laughs> as soon as i met mango it was kind of a good and bad thing because like joey kind of united us and then joey's like peace and then he like left and then became like locked himself in a room forever with Kathy and didn't come out and we're just like what the hell like where's Joey and Mango's having withdrawals he's like where's Joey so then like I was I was basically Joey for a while and then um and then Joey came back and like we had like it was always weird because we all never wanted to play melee we never all had like melee ragers um at the same time, we all basically like Joey would have a melee rager, and then I wouldn't, and then Mango wouldn't. He want a break, and like it was just very we never actually mesh, except for like on Tuesdays. It was like the only day we like set in stone. We got to play each other. <clears throat> and uh, how did how did Tuesday start? Like the whole fun day thing. Tuesday, shit. Uh, this is a story I feel like I've told like a million times, but. Weston's ass for Oh, I guess Weston's gone. Um, this is kind of like a random thing. Um, so I have, I used to have Mondays and Wednesdays off at work, like guaranteed every time. And um, so I wanted to like be able to party or hang out or play melee late on a day that I work, like got off work, play melee till like. 12 or 1 or 2 or whatever time it was and then be off the next day that way I wasn't like restless and super tired so that was like pretty much how I was like okay I need it I want to be able to play melee really late but then like the first time we like started drinking and it was like oh shit like this turned into a hell of party but we're playing melee a lot too and um I told I told Mango I was like dude I'm off on I'm off on Tuesday. I'm I'm sorry. I'm off on Wednesday. Let's let's have let's have a day where we we have like this smash fest. And I guess like the background intro to that is I guess okay, there's like a little mini story before that, right? So like Mango introduced me. So once I met Mango and we played melee a couple times and we're like being cool and like hanging out. <clears throat> Mango's like Alex, he's like He's like, I'm so excited for you. He's like, I have, he's like, you want to come to a Smash Fest? <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is a Smash Fest? And like, I, I was literally so new. Like, I didn't know what that meant. Like, I don't know if it was a tournament or I don't know. And he's like, it's exactly what it sounds like. And I was like, he's like, and I was like, well, well, what? Like, I wanted to like, just be sure what it was. And he's like, just come and you're going to, you're going to love it. You're, you're going to love it. And I was like. All right, like, fine. So that's when the whole Pat's House era started. I go to Pat's House with Mango, and, like, as soon as Mango, like, as soon as Mango walks in, like, everybody's like, ah! Like, kind of how it is now. But at the time, he had just barely won Pound and beat me to King, and all this shit happened. And uh, so, like, everybody was really hyped for, for Mango. And then they're like, who's this guy? And there was me, and, uh, and he's, he's like, oh, he's a friend. And, like... I went and I got obliterated by like everybody. And I was like, damn, I fucking suck, man. Like this sucks. And then like two weeks later, they have another one and I'm still training with Mango like every day, every day, every day, every day. And this, this house was really cool. Cause like you had three levels and there was like three setups on each level. And so like, you could just literally go to any setup and like call next and you, you'd play. But um, in between then I, I keep playing with Mango. The next, like, two weeks, I went back again. And, like, instead of getting obliterated by everybody, like, it started not happening. I wasn't. I wasn't losing to everybody anymore. I was losing to, like, a few of them, the ones that were really good. And then I kept playing with Mango again. And then, like, the next time I go, and then I'm, like, beating basically mostly everybody except, like, Oscar. Like, the ones that were, like, pretty significantly better than me. But, um... <clears throat> that shit was fun as hell and then like after that that's when like the whole thing where like you want to have smash fest at my house but it only be norwalk we can only have norwalk so we only wanted me joey and mango 
so that's kind of how like we got the idea of doing it I'm, I'm, at least that's where I it came from for me and um, <clears throat> we started drinking a little bit like and it was funny because we're in a one bedroom house and I had my girlfriend at the time and she's like yeah you guys can like come totally play like it's okay like and I was like thank you like you're so sweet and then like midnight <laughs> comes around and we're like causing a ruckus and we're playing melee or like watching the human centipede after that and she's like you need to tell them to shut the fuck up like she was losing her mind so mad and i was like oh my god whatever i was like just shut up just stop this is gonna be the last time i swear i swear it's the last time so um after that Monday Tuesday just became a thing and every Tuesday after that it was like our it was a, it was a ritual we just hang out every single Monday or Tuesday and call it Monday Tuesday play melee and, and have some drinks <laughs> but that's where that came from and uh and uh how long did it take before you kind of just stopped getting obliterated by everyone it's like, still not you... happening dude look at Mango's like <laughs> compilation of matches of the week dude it's literally all still on me that's how hard melee is man but mm -hmm. granted like lately i swear to god like that's another big thing like you go through your phases where you're mentally ready to play melee or not and like i right now i know i don't feel like playing i'm not going to evo i'm not doing shit like i'm just kind of hanging out mm -hmm. i i mean i know i'm decent but i just like i don't really fully mentally prepare myself the way I would for if I'm going to a national or something like, or a, or a regional or something big. But if I'm going to like SSS, some shit, I really don't care. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. Like, I just more so want to show up and hang out and have fun. Um, but I still get beat, man. Like, honestly, it's this was one thing. When I moved to Texas, that's another, like, era, little fucked up era. I met Mango... Me and Mango became best friends. You can watch Esports Times 1, the first one we made. It's just me and Mango playing nonstop. And uh, I had to move to Texas. After high school, I had to deal with my parents to move to Texas for a year and give it a shot and go to school. And I did, but I hated it, man. I didn't like Texas. Um, it's different now. I went back to visit, and it's way cooler now. But before, it was a lot different. There was no melee, zero melee over there. And, um, so I ended up moving back, but when I came back, I was like, dude, Mango, like, I've been practicing Melee so much, and you can, like, I mean, I know you can't, like, go through YouTube videos to see how much I improved in that time, but I actually did, like, I practiced so much, like, freaking Verge in my room, because I love Melee, like, I had, I imagine going from Mango to, like, no one. It's like a bummer. I was like depressed. I had withdrawals. I was like freaking out. I was like, this is weird. Like I had such good, I was learning. I was getting so much better. And now I can't play melee against anyone. This is kind of a bummer. Like, so I practiced tech skill and even Oscar Lovage, um, <clears throat> he knew me before I moved. And then when I would, when I came back, he's like, dude, he's like, you totally like passed me at some, at some point. He's like, you were going you were going crazy with tech skill. And I was like, dude, I know I was it's like, he's like, I remember you learned how to shine reverse bear um, before I did. And he thought he really wanted to do it. Um, so like, I knew I was putting in time, but when I got back, I was like, Mango, I'm better. And uh, I visited for Mango Juice. Mango had his, his uh, tournament Mango Juice, um, which I really hope he has a second one because that'd be legendary. But um, I came back. And no, Mango was like that much better, like the same increment of better. Like he's always just been that much better. And like, I, it's just, I don't know. Like Mango's always like basically fucked me up and like, I can't really get much closer. There's like days where I'm like, okay, I'm playing better, but I feel like he's playing worse. But uh, Melee is one of those games, man. Like, I don't know. Like you, you really gotta like mentally get into somebody's head before you start like, getting much much better than them or something i don't know like it's it's weird mm -hmm. what was the the first win you had that you were like proud of first win i had um 
so I started getting better. I moved back from Texas and um, <clears throat> I moved back from Texas and I started playing. We shot esports times two, which is oh my god, I love that video. I can, I swear to God, I could watch that video like any time, and it's dope. But um, we shot that. We're playing a lot of melee, and we went to a NorCal tournament called Onapalooza. And I remember that tournament was like stacked. I remember Mewtwo King was going. Zoo was like super duper top at that time too. Um, Jeff was going. Sound Inspector. Um, that was a uh, Lucian. I don't know if a lot of people know of a guy named Lucian. Really, really good sheep fox. Oh, your uh, video turned off. Oh my video. Well, that's a bummer. Um, uh, it's back. I don't know. I don't know how to. That's some, uh... Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> <clears throat> Lucian actually was one of the first people I played with when I started playing. Like friendlies or what? Yeah, or like, friendlies. Oh shit, really? Yeah. He was good, man. He was cool. He was like kind of mellow. But um he um he was going who else was going? Scorpion Master went, dude. <laughs> Scorpion Master, Dewan, Zach, Kevin. Like it was pretty stacked at the time because like you guys gotta understand, like these tournaments were like nationals almost like these tournaments were big for us. Like we had, I think like it was like 200 and something entrance and it was at like a Fuddruckers in NorCal, but it was like stacked. Like a lot of people were there. And um, I'm trying to remember who I beat at the tournament, but it was pools. There was, there was pools and then it turned into bracket. I remember I had Bizarro Flame was there. I remember Toffelgins was in one of my pools. But Lucian was in my pool, and I beat Lucian. And he was first seed, and I was, like, seed number three. And um, I, was, I was seed, like, number three or four. Like, I, I, people didn't even think I was going to do shit. I ended up getting first seed in my pool. And I, re I was really happy about myself because, like, I came back from Texas. People still didn't know who I am. Like, people wanted me to win. Or at least Mango and Joey wanted me to win. Dude, I even think Johnny went actually. Now that I think about it, I think I think Chinaman went too, and and Oscar went too. Man, that was pretty stacked at the time. Now that I think about it, that was like a mini. I mean, that's a good regional. Was but that uh, when, uh, Lucian was number one in NorCal. Or yeah. No. Because uh, I know yeah, he like no, climbed think, really fast. Yeah, I think it was around. It was around that time. It was around that time. Yeah, I'm. I'm I can't say he was because no, 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 no. It was at, It was right before that. It was right before that, because I remember I beat him, and then he started getting crazy, like better. Dude, he used to be able to like multi shine like crazy as a fox. Like he was pretty nuts. He was like he was like the original multi shiners. I think you could look up a video of him on like Congo Jungle, and he's like, the volume is so distorted but loud, and you just hear beep, 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 beep. like he goes crazy, and he does like twenty five of them. And this is like in two thousand and seven or eight, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Um, no, like I don't know, he was nuts. So I beat him, and then I got first seed. Oh, and I had G Mon G Money went too. G Money was there for some reason. G Money was pretty damn good too at the time, um, and he went Marth against me, and I beat G Money and I beat Lucian. So G Money was second uh, second seed. I think I was third probably. And um, I beat both of them, got first seed, ended up having to play against Zelgatis, Phil, Dewan, and, like, somebody else. And I beat, um, I beat Zelgatis. I ended up beating Zelgatis. That was my first, like, happy win. I was like, dude, it's like, you know, like, when you beat your your idol. He was my idol. He was the guy who got me into Melee. I was like, dude, I beat Zogadis. Like, but then after I beat him, I was like, man, you know what? Fuck this guy. Like, he was so mean. He was so, like, so shitty about his loss. And I get it. Like, you know, he's good at Melee and whatever. But, like, I didn't, like, even chain grab him. I wasn't a chain grab. I can't, I can't even chain grab now. Like, I didn't even chain grab. I did nothing. He took me to FD and, like, I still beat him. 
and he was so salty and mad and like i remember how salty he was like people were like hey man he's salty as hell or against you and i was just like man whatever fuck that guy like i was like being all the, i was like so humble about it too i didn't pop i'm not gonna pop off against who you think you're is, is your idol and then um and then after that i played against um it was uh phil i played phil oh and i beat zach too i beat zach Shit, I beat a bunch of good... I beat Lucian, I beat Zogaz, Zach, um, and uh, Phil. And then I lost to Dewan and Joey. And I was... And, and basically what happened was Mango got first. Um, Dewan got second. Uh, Joey got third. And I got fourth. <laughs> it was like a random, random dope-ass tournament. It was something weird. And it was funny because like on the... On the on the Smashboards thread way back in the day, it said uh, Onapalooza. It was I think held by JB. Like uh, JB was sick, it's really homie dude, and um, hosted by JB. And it the title said Onapalooza, fuck SoCal and and Dewan. Like that was the title of the thread. It was kind of like pretty pretty mean, but like what happened? It was like SoCal got third and then uh, first, first, second, uh, first, third, and fourth, and then Dewan got second. And it was pretty hilarious. Like uh, after they said that, they're like, "Oh shit, we jinxed or so." Commentator cursed, dude. <laughs> so uh, that was a fun tournament. That was like my first happiest tournament because I got like I got like fourth or some shit at a big tournament. Um, or I don't remember what the fuck I got. It was something like that. It's a long damn time ago, man. That's, that's crazy, though. <laughs> it is. It's pretty nuts. I'm actually uh, looking at the the thread right now. It's Onapalooza <laughs> 11 SS Shroom Sucks. Oh, is, it, is, that, no, is that not it? That's not it? It was like a bunch of like sub... Someone? Trust me, that was like... No, people were definitely saying "fuck so count, fuck Shroom." <laughs> I trust me. I'm, I'm not making that up. I definitely seen it I, a lot at the time. I really wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> no, no, no. There was before our hate used to be so much more vicious. Like the NorCal, SoCal hate. Now it's like California's one, and we're kind of like we need to beat the Swedes. <laughs> but before it was like we treat them like the Swedes. Like we hated each other hard, man. Was this back when like people hated on Dewan a lot? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the... People hated Juan. Like he was dog man, but he was good. He was getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so like after Onapalooza, right? Like what happens next for you? Like do you just start traveling a lot? Like, no, when... man, that's an issue. Like after that, it was kind of fucked up for me because like I moved back from Texas, so I was back in California, and my parents live in Texas at this point, so I stayed, um, and. I had a girlfriend and I had to basically pay for rent and shit. Like I had to have my job and I realized like, I can't just go to any tournament. Like one weekend is one weekend too much. Like from the, to pay the bills, like I needed to stay and work. So I picked my tournaments like super wisely. Like I was basically like fucking, I mean, not a ha I was a hacks in the sense that I only go to like one tournament a year. That's like, but everybody would see me and Mango would know. And like, that's why I'm known as like the friendly master. Like I only play good in friendlies because I'm never tournament ready. Um, but no, I didn't go to a lot of stuff. Like I literally would go to something like once a year for like many years. Um, that's like my issue. I feel like if I would have gone to a lot more tournaments and kept going as much as everybody johnny joey and mango like i'd be high up there too but like i just didn't i really didn't i had to work like i i had no choice it's like what what, what would i can i'm not living with anybody it was me and my girlfriend and i had to pay rent and then uh me and my girlfriend split up i had to pay for my own rent like entirely in socal it's not really easy man like you, i had to do just some grown-up shit but in my head, it was just like, I got to do what I got to fucking do to survive, dude. Like, I don't want to go live in Texas. I'd rather live here in SoCal and work and have fun. Like, that was the way I saw it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. And, like, 
And like now though, like you know, you're still working and playing. Right. I mean, but <laughs> we've seen you like. It feels like we've seen you out more. Well, you know, you're, I, you're traveling now. No, I'm traveling now yeah. because I have like income for that particular yeah. thing. Like I have like my streams going and. Uh, Dude, like, stream is so big for me traveling and uh, just, like, every everything. I mean, Melee's gotten so much bigger now. Like, um, somebody asked me, they're like, how did this all start? Like, one of my coworkers asked me, I think, and I was just like, dude, it literally was starting. Holy shit. <laughs> this, oh, my God, this wall. <laughs> it sounded like something was just going to fly over here. Oh. Okay. Johnny, Johnny just came through. <laughs> nice causing a ruckus over there. Um, oh, I was working at Trader Joe's and I was my part time job because in California, you can't just like, you, it's almost, you have to have a really good job to just have like one job. If you're like a youngster and you're like, you don't have like a degree and like even then, like you have like student loans and shit, like it's still difficult. You got to live with your parents in some sort of way, like having some sort of support. I didn't, I'm like helping my parents instead. And uh, it's really expensive. I had to have a second job, so I was working at Trader Joe's. And I worked there for a year, and I was like, man, I'm pretty damn exhausted. Like, I'm pretty burnt out on, like, this work life. <clears throat> I'd only work there, like, three days a week and, like, six hours a day. Not, I wouldn't do, like, full eight-hour shifts or anything. But, like, I would literally not have a single day off. And I would have to go straight from my Nordstrom job all the way to Trader Joe's. And it was kind of messed up because, oh, was that Johnny actually back there? Yeah, Johnny, like, came in the room and, like, walked out. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> ooh, ooh. No, 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 That's the, that's the Johnny. And, uh, okay, I get it now. I just realized this fucking door right here showing you. Um, so, I don't know. I got burned out, and uh, Mango's like, dude, he's like, would you want to come? He just kind of mentioned it to me. He's like, would you want to, oh, no, no, we're streaming. He's like, wouldn't it be sick if we can all go to Australia? And I was like, that'd be dope. Like, yeah, but I can't, like, afford that shit. Hell no. And then, like, after the stream, he's like, are you serious? Would you want to go? And then he's like, we could talk about maybe, like, having a donation stream or something. And I was like, this is going to take, like, months or something. Like, this is going to take a while to do. But whatever, if you want, you want to do it, like, uh, we could pay them back if we don't reach the goal or something. I don't know. And then, like, we did it on a random fun day, and that shit, like, was reached, like, in the day. It happened in, like, four hours. I remember I wasn't even, I hadn't even arrived at fun day, and Mango started stream, and we're at $200. And when the donation goes, like, 900 or something. And I was like, fuck, that's crazy. Like, it's starting to blow my mind, like. This is when I started realizing that Twitch was, like, so big. Like, it's getting... Melee is getting big. Twitch is getting big. Like, esports is just getting big in general. And um, <clears throat> and then, like, after a while, like, we're, like, almost halfway there. And then freaking Mixiplex drops, like, four... Or, oh, no, he dropped, like... He, what was it? Like, $400, right? I think he dropped, like, something crazy and said, have fun in Australia. I was like, wow, like, this is crazy. So then I was like, damn, I didn't think this was going to happen like this. Like, I hadn't told work anything. Like, it was just a, we'll see how this goes. No, the Mango Nation hella shows love, dude. Uh, especially at that time, like, they were just, like, really, really supportive for it. And I'm really thankful. But um, I tell my work, and I'm like, I, I want to go to Australia. And they're like, well, Alex, like, you, you only work, like, three days a week. And you don't even work, like, full, full shifts, like. Like, you don't have a lot of, like, room to wiggle with, like, and I was like, I know I don't, but it's a, it's fucking Australia, man, like, I want to go. And they're like, well, well, we'll make an exception, you can go, but, like, this can't be ongoing, you can't just go for video games all the time, and, and like, everybody there is so nice to me, and, like, good, and I, I, I understand what they're saying, but I was just like, at this point, Mango is like, dude, you should, like, start streaming. Like, you should just start streaming and play Melee and have fun. And, and I was like, you know what? Like, fucking gamble. So then I we built a computer for me, and the rest is history, man. I've been streaming for, like, a year and a half now. I think I'm getting, like, my one-year, one six-month notification, or five months soon. Like, it's pretty nuts, but, like, Melee is, like, 
completely gone crazy in that short time. But uh, <laughs> felons <Yeah. laughs> being such a fair <laughs> one. Uh, no, it's. I mean, yeah, it, it changed so much. Like I remember, it was like like a year ago. It was kind of just like Mango Stream, and like other people would try, but like no one would watch. And, like, oh, only, yeah. People would only watch Mango. Like one viewer, two viewer, three yeah. viewer, shit like that. And he kind of like paved the way with like you guys in Norwalk, and then like, oh yeah, just, like, it just it blew up. I no, mean, like we put in work. We all have our own personalities, like. I'm not being like a piece of shit and it, like I don't like I, I I do have love for the stream like and I always have like I've never been like even when I didn't stream like I was always like just ready to have fun and talk to chat or whatever like mm -hmm. so I, I don't know I think people just see like you know who you are and whatnot or if you're a bad person or not and they really give back <clears throat> they can uh... Really, uh, it kind of relates to my and being in sales. Like, if you're just full of shit and it looks like you're just trying to sell, here, buy this shit. Like, buy it, buy it, buy it. Like, you don't want to buy it. You're like, fuck you. No, I don't want to. Like, you know, like if you're a good streamer and you're genuine, just be yourself. Like, if you want to buy it, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll take a shot if you buy it. No, like it's just, <laughs> it's funnier. Whatever. Um, it's fun. I like streaming. I actually do like streaming. Um, I don't know. It's cool. I like it, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, but uh, kind of back to the original. Yeah, yeah, back to the. Now that now story. that you're like traveling more, right. are your nerves still an issue? Like, do you feel like because you didn't get to play as much earlier, and everyone kind of had that initial heads up? Do you feel like you're behind? And like, how do you yeah. feel like it affects you now? I feel like I should be really good, but I do feel like I'm behind. Um, because like there's little things that I feel like I just like uh, with neutral game and patience like I remember like the other day like when not the other day but pre uh, summit 1.5 Zach came over and he was just like he's like you really just kind of need to wait longer he's like in the neutral game you need to be a little more patient he's like and he told me a bunch of like strategies he's like you just count to like five and when you count to five literally tell yourself to count to three to make it a little longer. Like when it seems like you're dragging out, not approaching, force yourself to hold back just a little bit more. And sometimes that makes all the difference. Like, and then Kevin told me something else too. And I was like, fuck, there's all these little, like little knickknacks that I don't know about melee. Instead, I just want to go in and swag and, and go crazy. And like, I don't know, like, for me, it was just like, uh, I feel like I'm missing a lot of little things. And then, like, I feel like I have a lot of pressure. Um, everyone's like, Alex, you're so good sometimes in friendlies. Like, why doesn't he just do this shit in tournaments? And, like, I really do work on it in moments. But then you start learning other things. Like, uh, if you go to a big national <clears throat> and you enter and you go singles, pools at 8 in the morning. And then you're like, fuck, I need to warm up at 7. And you warm up and you're warmed up at 8. And then it's like round two is at 1.30 p.m. And then you just drain that you're drained. You're like burnt out and you're like, oh, shit. Like, I had no idea this is going to happen. Like, this is a whole new factor. And then next time you go to another tournament, you're kind of nervous. You're like, damn, I don't want to burn out. You start freaking yourself out a little bit. Like, for me, I'm very like, uh, I overanalyze things. That's just like part of my personality. I'm always thinking of stuff and like, so... I'm sure this doesn't help, like, my mental game, like, <clears throat> but I'm trying to be a little more lax and um, trying to just play my own game and, like, cut it down and simplify it and really dumb it down. And um, streaming and watching a couple of matches leading up to a big national sometimes does help. Um, and I just feel like I definitely am... I just feel like I still do get a lot of nerves... And I don't know if I want to say it's more than I should, but it's just I'm I'm running into stuff that I still didn't know about Melee, and it makes me nervous. Like, to in the big picture, once you mesh everything, oh, shit, my tech skill. Oh, shit, my controller's acting a little funny. Oh, shit, my pool's at fucking 5 in the morning. Oh, shit, this guy is, like, playing the character that I hate the most. Like, all those things, like, combined... Um, 
like sometimes ends up like can mess with you a little more. Um, and I feel like I'm, I'm still kind of learning how to deal with it. And, and then like my stream and having a lot of supporters um, kind of just kind of makes it a little like challenging sometimes. But overall, I do want to get I want to I want to get there. I see. And um, are we dropping frames or what? Yeah, I think, but it, it should be good now. Is it? Uh, I, I'll blame Comcast for sucking. Uh, oh what? Comcast? I might. Yeah. Oh uh, what? You use Comcast? Yeah. That's all. That's all I have. But um, so like, Bummer. in the moments where things go really well, like you right. know, we've seen you be like auto, like at Genesis. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and just... that, that's another thing. Like he wasn't playing his best. Like uh, you know, I don't know what he has to say about his side of the story. And like that's part of being a good player. It's just you're aware that you didn't play great, and like you can't just fully blame it on like oh he beat me because I played bad but like there's a bunch of shit that's going on in your life that nobody knows about and um, I was completely aware of it like but like when you're playing good and you have like hella momentum like you almost feel unstoppable but honestly playing against Otto like I didn't feel unstoppable I felt like I was playing pretty good in moments I did some really like clutch important things but it was enough but uh, people gotta see like I feel like I'm more of like a read and like I gamble in certain situations. I'm not very like optimal punish. And uh, like people like that. People like the risk sometimes. And uh, but when you have like momentum going, you feel great, dude. Like playing, winning, like for me, winning's great. Awesome. I want to keep winning, but like you got to like keep, keep, you got to keep like focus on like neutral and this and that and then once you get momentum go 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 but once like you don't chill chill can't just try to go aggro then you're gonna get boned um but what are you yeah i don't know i totally i feel like interrupt your ass or some shit no i was just gonna say like you know you beat like auto and wizzy and like which is insane for you know to have for a national run right yeah and it's, and it's like you have these crazy highs but you also have these lows and it's like yeah. Do you feel yourself like, you know, coming over everything? And like, Honestly, where do you think, where do you think you can be in the next year, really, if you can get over all of this? I mean, overall, it's like usually mental, but at the same time, it's just like, I think it's just mental prep. Like, uh, it's every time I go to a national, you guys see I do pretty decent. Like, I'm literally mentally preparing myself like a month two months in advance like i'm so ready sss comes around i kind of don't care i know a lot of people are like john's 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 like sometimes i kind of do and like it all comes together but sometimes i really don't give a shit like i just i'm not a big fan of a tournament like sometimes i want to go and hang out with my family like i don't see my family very often and sometimes i'm just like i want to go hang out or Depending on what it is, like, um, I want to see my family or sometimes I just, I'm like, okay, I got to go to this tournament because another national is coming up soon. I want to mentally prep, but, um, I don't like locals. I, I have fun. If you meet me there at a local, a lot of times everybody's just like, oh, it's so fun. Like, and this and that, like, I'm not really like super all mentally ready to just I have to win. I have to win. I have to win. Like, it's just kind of like, let's hang out. I don't know. Um, everybody sees the game as different. Like, when I talk to this about, uh, talk about this to Joey, Joey hates it. He's like, he's like, no, you're stupid. He's like, you're so stupid. He's like, just, just play better. Just do this. Or you, you should, you should fucking lose. And, and I get what he's saying, but at the same time, it's just like, look, man, like, I sometimes really just don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I don't know, for me. But, like, when a national does come around, I'm I'm super mentally prepped. But I'm completely aware that if I want to keep doing better and better at nationals, I got to, like, start, like, clutching it in the bag for even, like, a local. And uh, so, like, it's there in my head, but I'm trying to, like, transition into just being, like, a really good autopilot, like, doing what I need to do and still being really like uh, my like a unique style because 
My fox isn't like most foxes, I feel like. I, I, it doesn't play very, like, normal as a standard fox. Um, yeah, dude, people see me at SSS. Like, I definitely will, like, play a friendly. I'll, I don't care. Like, I'm just having fun with you guys. And uh, I don't seem stressed. It's because I'm not really, like, thinking too much about the tournament. But when it comes down to the tournament, it's like, who do I play? And then it's somebody who's, like, pretty decent. I'm just like, fuck, now I got to do this. And I'm, like, not ready mentally or... Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just, uh, if I do, if I do prep, I could do very well. But if I don't, uh, for most people, like, uh, if you don't prep, you're not going to do well. Most, most, uh, most, uh, locals, I don't really prep, honestly. <clears throat> All right. And, yeah. um, outside of the game, we, you know, outside of like streaming too, like we've seen you commentating more. Is that something like you're interested in? pursuing more is it just like yeah i mean it's fun i think it's super fun mm -hmm. i didn't know it was fun but like honestly it's really really important who you're commentating with and uh, if you're commentating like commentating with mango comes natural commentating with like crimson blur like somebody you have a relationship with they're like you know comes a lot easier and understanding if somebody's like gonna be like you know i want to be talk i want to talk more or i want to chill more that's really important too because I think I commented with Mango one time and like I was just talking over him and it was like kind of weird um, because Mango wanted to talk more and then like with Blur I think Blur knows my personality a little bit like him being a really good commentator and he kind of just like backseated and supported and um, I just started doing a little more commentary and it's been really fun but um I think that's all important. Like when I went to um, when I went to uh, CEO, and they're like, <laughs> I had been drinking. You could drink. There's a bar there at CEO ballroom and shit. And I was like pretty damn drunk at this point. And they're like, Alex, can you please do commentary? Like, what do you like to do? We've seen you at SSS. You're so funny and this and that. And are you interested? And I was, and they're like, we need you. And I was like, all right, yeah. Let's do it. And then right as I'm putting on the mic, they're like, but you can't cuss. And I was like, what? Like, what the fuck? I even think I said what the fuck because I was tripping out. And, uh, like, little things like that. Like, just, I don't know. Like, at least having open communication. Then I was like, who am I commentating with? Like, I didn't know anything. Like, it was just kind of, like, really random. Like, even that, I guess, needs a little bit of preparation in its own. <laughs> but uh it was, it's still fun like it is still fun like i can do commentary with like i can see myself doing commentary with a lot of people and like even bro like uh just somebody who knows when to put in what they need to put in is uh good enough i i imagine like when someone's like you gotta filter yourself it's just like fuck that <laughs> it's like all the sss like <laughs> i literally wanted to leave i was like like, come on, like, are you serious? Like, you're making me filter my... You, why do you think I'm funny at SSS? Like, because I'm probably cussing a lot, and this and that, like... And you're over here... Just, no, like, I was so mad. They should, uh, just throw you on, like, the non-esports streams at all the nationals. Yeah, or, I mean, um, uh, even, like, even nationals, apparently... I mean, uh, not, not something like Evo, or not something, like, crazy as hell like that, but, like... Even, I think, CEO, like, when I was doing commentary... They told me later, they're like, well, you could have cussed, you just can't go crazy. I was like, well, you could have said that. Like, come on, like, hit me with, like, the real guidelines. Don't just tell me no cussing. And then I'm like, oh, okay, now I feel like I'm literally thinking about that the whole time. Yeah. yeah I got a potty mouth, I don't know, man. Yeah, like, I know, like, whenever we have commentators, it's like, if you're going to swear, just, like, make a count. Just, much. yeah, don't, don't go yeah. overboard and crazy, but just uh, let it, let it. I don't know, just <laughs> just let it fucking rock, dude. I don't know, that's it. Don't, don't, don't be a pussy about it. Just just, uh, the, the, just rely on the person. I, I'm not too stupid. I stream and do all this and that. So I'm aware of what shit and shouldn't, even though my streams are, like, anti that. But I don't know. <laughs> They're, uh, your streams are definitely something. Do you want to make, like, streaming your, your full-time gig? I don't know about full-time, <clears throat> but it'd be fun. I definitely don't want to stay at Nordstrom, so like I want to get a different job, but I want to. I want streaming to open up like a 
I don't know, some kind of like eSport job, uh, you know, streaming, like open up a gate for another job mm-hmm. in the eSport world and then kind of keep streaming there. But I'm not too sure like what the hell is there. Like, like I said, I've only been streaming for like a year and everything's changed so much. Like, <clears throat> imagine what's, what could happen in another year and a half, another, another year, like, you don't know. I have no fucking clue, honestly. Like, I just kind of writing it out, and like, it's still been on a rise. So, I'm keeping it going, and and we'll see. Like, I my motto has always been like, take it day by day, dude. Just take life day by day. Like, don't try not to stress too much because, like, we're just all just chilling, man. Like, why, why stress, stress, stress over something like? If, especially if you don't love it, like, I don't know, like, it depends on the person. Some people's, like, destiny is to get a degree and, like, mm, that's their rage. Or, like, for me, I just wanted to hang out and, like, I don't know, rock and roll and do what I want to do, enjoy life, and I'll figure it out. Like, don't worry, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Don't You don't need to tell me what to do. I, I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about me. <laughs> like, everybody's different. Yeah. <clears throat> do you have, like, you know, goals for yourself for the next year related to Smash in general streaming. I do want to place better. Um, I think, I think this next uh, this next year, I do want to place like hella better. Um, I do want to make it a point to to like win an SSS. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but like, I totally feel like even last year I might have been able to do it, but I just haven't like really, really been super duper like mentally focused for it and so i really want to now um like coming around to genesis 4 like i want to be at that point where i'm just like really clutched up and ready and um and it's kind of fucked up to say but there's not like a lot of players that i'm just like super duper like um like when you think of yourself as getting there as a top player like you're looking at who's above you like you know there's not like a, a ton ton of people like it's only like matchups and you're looking at an icy you're looking at a falcon or you're looking at a sheep like if you're really 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 good at the certain matchups like you almost you just need to learn a few things within the match like uh, opponents habits but i feel like i could be better at the matchups that way i can just focus on those other things later and uh and then i'll be able to just start like totally clutching little things um, at little locals and then just maybe uh, converting that into a Nash, uh, doing well at a national mm-hmm. or doing well at a big regional or whatever. So that's kind of my goal. Um, my goal has kind of remained um, to get better at Melee and uh, in my stream, I, I want to keep streaming and getting better at it. Um, I want to be able to like bust out a little more like content and make my uh, stream a little bit better like uh quality wise not necessarily like video quality just like uh transitions and stuff like that like overlays and stuff just making it nice um and then just content uh maybe having a schedule (laughs) tell mega soon soon (laughs) mega wants to play i know i know i kind of want to play too so um that's actually like really it for the questions I wanted yeah. to see if the, the stream chat had any questions. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I have one. It's, uh, so why did you beat me up when you were drunk? <laughs> and look, it's so funny. Everybody everybody sees Ashkan and like, he's this little entitled fucker when I saw him. I was like, he's just like, he's nice, but he tells you like, get off the stage. <laughs> like, and I was like, who the fuck are you? Like, I, I have never seen, I've been around in the Melee community for like 10 years now. And you're just telling me as if you're like this giant security guard to get the fuck off the stage just because you're wearing a Genesis 3 shirt. I was so mad. <laughs> I don't think that was when I beat you up, though, was it? No, that was, you know, it was Big House. And <laughs> so uh, the funny thing is, so I beat you, you, know, you, know, you know, like Chroma came up to you. So the next day you're like, you were drunk and you beat up Ashcon. Good. Yeah, but that, like that never happened. I was like, no, that never happened. I can't, I can't tell people I did so like that. Come on, <laughs> I, I plead, I plead the fifth, dude. <laughs> but um, 
I didn't beat you up. Did I hurt you? No, Did you, you didn't even actually do anything. <laughs> Chroma just told you the next day at like take guys. You like, you were so drunk that you beat me up. But like you don't remember it. You just assumed it. Whoa! Well, because everybody's like, oh, I think it turns into a damn meme. Like the next day, <laughs> everybody's just like, you beat me up, and I'm like, fuck, did I fuck up all these people? Like, why didn't you guys all beat me up? Like, you just, <laughs> I just love how you assumed it's true. I I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's I, like, oh, that's something I do while drunk. It's <laughs> I don't like hit hit hard. I just kind of like rough people up, like fun day shit. Like I'm not doing like I hit little people. I mean, I, I hit people a little. I don't hit little people. I'll hit Joey. I'll hit anybody. But uh, I just, everybody's like, ah, like freaks out. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that person couldn't handle it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So I did think I maybe like nicked you here. here <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have no idea, dude. I, I definitely punched at least 90% of the million community. But everybody knows that I don't mean it, mean it a lot. Like, come on. That's why everybody still likes me. Like I, I'm not like trying to hurt hurt people. Except Chew, I think Chew's actually really mad. <laughs> I just kind of nicked him. I was like, yeah, yes, and then he was like, looked so mad and scared. I was like, oh uh, shit, all right, he's kind of he can't handle this shit. So yeah, I don't know. There's not very many people. Everybody still knows I'm like nice person. Ashcon, come on, like you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, yeah, I know. Super nice, dude. Like I know, I've come into your stream when you're drunk, and then you just talk about me for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fuck <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> um, everyone's asking you to do your impressions. No, man, that's for my stream. That's for my. That's for your stream. Ooh. I think Are you guys gonna sub to Alex? Impressions are for my stream. I think a very good impersonator. It's from my stream. That, 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 that's all I'm going to hit you with. You the guys, Armada. You guys got to sub for that. Dude, your emotes are sick. Like my the blur, the blur one, the new blur one is amazing. That's not a blur. That's not blur. Oh, shit. That's Hbox. I just realized. <laughs> I just assumed it was blur. Okay, that makes it even better. That's so funny. You didn't see in the documentary that, uh, the C9 documentary, how he's like, he's like digglooting over and watching no. that set or something it's pretty funny so that's where it kind of derived from uh -huh. <laughs> i think uh, your stupid smash con i just i actually thought that was just no, that's, it, that's an amazing emote no they're funny they're all pretty funny it's funny because it's like happens to be around the time of like pokemon uh, go and all that yeah all right. just, uh, i'll take uh one more question from the chat and then all right. that's about it because uh mango's uh Mango's fiending right now. I kind of want to wait. Yeah, I know, I know you guys are fiending. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, like I said, I, I'm not I want I want Mango to win Evo. So like, right. I, want, I want him to play right now. No, 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 me too. I want him to practice and get his his All right. uh, filled. All right. So, um, I guess what can we see about next? What's the next thing you're going to? Honestly, I think there's actually I don't know. I'm gonna have like some kind of like goal or something to try to see if I can go to Big House. Um, maybe Big House, if not, even though it seems so far, but Genesis, Genesis probably, I don't know, a bunch of locals. Uh, I'm not sure, man. Honestly, I'm not too, too sure what, what it's going to be. Um, uh, what, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I do want to go play Melee, like Melee yeah. stuff. <clears throat> yeah, nobody's um, asking questions. No one's just saying. No one's oh. asking questions of like. <laughs> it was like, Alex is dope. Why are you sick? Oh, you're current. looking for the sponsor, right? I don't know, man. I don't think I could. <laughs> I mean, if you get sponsored, would you think about pursuing full time streaming and everything? And I guess that's that'll be the last question. I mean, it depends on the sponsor, like. I'm thinking about like even hitting up like Adult Swim, man. Like just because I feel like that's almost like gonna reach into a new like area of people, and like I don't know. Like I kind of just want to get like a shitty, not shitty sponsor, like because a real sponsor would be like Cloud Nine or Tempo or something like that. But I feel like something like that is considered like something that's shitty, but uh, but it'd actually be good for the community or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like I don't know, like. I think it'd be cool to get a big sponsor that's like kind of like out there and random, but very suitable to me and yet still helping the community. So I don't know. 
Team YP. No way, man. That's, no, I'm not that. No, no thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's about it for the questions yeah. I have. Uh, I want Mango to win Evo, so... I do too, dude. I feel I like need... we could talk more, but it's like, no, Mango's gotta win. This is more important. I mean, you'll hear me talking on Mango yeah. the whole time, so, uh, but Ash, kind of glad this is fun. This is pretty fun. Uh, <coughs> any last shout-outs you want to make? You know, people can follow you at... All your things yeah, are... Yeah, follow my channel. I mean, chances are, most of you guys are, are... I think most people follow my channel, but if you're not, go ahead and follow my channel, uh... It's pretty much <laughs> me cameraing it up like this shit, <laughs> but um, just a lot more freaking rated R. Yeah. So, but uh, if you want to follow my channel, it's not. Sometimes I drop knowledge. I always have like, I'm not gonna say inner scoop. But I'm not selling out. I just like I have fun stories as to what's going on or whatever. I don't know. And I, I'm pretty decent in melee, I think. But um, I'm need to bet better. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, it's been fun. Follow follow Ashcon's channel, man. He's trying to, like, make this whole, like, interview thing a better thing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's always important. Like, what do you have? Like, top agains and, like, blur. Like, Ashcon's definitely, like, a good, like, TO at least helps helps um, around. He's a big, big – someone who contributes a lot of melee, and that's always important to me. So I wanted to help him out. Uh, so follow this little idiot's channel. And uh, <laughs> And I don't know. And we'll see what other good interviews he gets. Maybe yeah. I'll pop back on eventually again. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. Alex, uh, Mango can go play now. Um, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you guys going to start streaming right now? Like right after? Probably. Yeah, we'll probably All right. play very soon. Yeah. All right. All right. Sick. All right. Um, All right, man. All right, chat. I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Alex. Now. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Maybe you guys go straight to Mangoes. I don't know. Yeah. You guys want. I'll just uh, put it in a mission and then I'll host Mango. Sounds good. And right. Yeah. Thanks, dude. All right. I'll See you, Alex. Peace out, dude.